man huge shout out to the nba live 18 team for putting your boy in the game as a boss if you go to the demo right now go to the live event section you'll see me there under the community showdown as a boss in the game so you can load it up and face off forget your boy and get this work so if you don't got the demo now you guys to pick it up so you can get dropped off. And I want y'all, don't be prideful about it. When you get this work, I want you to leave a comment below. I want you to send me the tweets or the screenshots like, Mav, yeah, that's me on the floor. I underestimated you. I saw the purple shorts. I thought I thought the game was sweet. Those ain't even my shorts, though. I woke up late at your mammy's house, had to hurry up and get to the court. So I had to work with what I got. And now you get in this work. So when you get sauced up, please send your boy a tweet, man. And for some reason, all right, you able to glitch the system and get buckets on me, please let me know so I can let EA know so they can patch the game because that, that shouldn't be happening. That's not realism. But this is an awesome moment, man. All jokes aside, I really do appreciate y'all. Without y'all and the amazing amount of support that you guys show, stuff like this just, stuff like this just isn't possible, man. Your boy's actually in a video game and that's a blessing, man. So I do thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Check out the NBA Live 18 demo and get this work. Okay, now before I can take on my boss, character in the game i gotta get my regular regular old created guy up man because right now we've done chapter one where we were at rucker and we balled out there we gotta continue the story though and i believe after we do chapter two we'll be at the level where we can do the live events and then i can take on my character but i might even want to up my stats even more because i'm not trying to get exposed by myself that's weird i never said that before all right nick howard said thanks for coming out had to do it. Good to be out there. Yeah, definitely. Listen, my agent thinks we should come out and play at Venice Beach. He thinks if we can get a solid run there, maybe we can get into the Drew. You down? Let's do it. All right. I mean, I already bought out at the Rucker. I'm going to do my thing at, at Venice, man. That's how I do it. Oh, yeah. And I did create a new character. As you can see, I got a shorter guy. Because I figured, so in my character that I created for, I had them get, for, all right. What the fluff am I trying to say? For my character in NBA Live 18, I gave them my actual stats, man. I know some people went with higher, and there's not really they height. Nah, I was, I was like, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. I'm 5'11", and so if they got my guy is actually 5'11", I was like, let me create another guy that's shorter, that can probably hopefully get matched up with them, so I can make sure I'm the one going against my boss character. So I went back and I made a point guard, and I made a point shooter. I figured, you know, what I mean, just, just. I just wanna, I'm going to wet it. I'm going to wet the willy. Hold up. We probably shouldn't say that. For Venice Beach, a place like no other, fit with a cast of characters and all the sun, sand, and shoreline you can handle. But Venice Beach basketball brings a completely different kind of beauty to the beach. A beauty made of long-range jumpers, meta world peace-level defense, and some of the best athletic ability in the West. And it ain't news. Since the heyday of the OG Ray Lewis dropping 50 on Michael Cooper in the 80s. Since Freedom Williams put up 75 in a college game. Since Ron Beals created the trend of street ball legends pushing the pros to their very limits under the scorching California sunshine. Long before baggy shorts and the elbow sleeve became the universal uniform of choice, every guard at Venice has been a menace. And the rule here is, you reach, we teach. Teach your defense the definition of pressure. Then big men, pack a lunch. It's gonna be a long day down there in the paint. Out here, the days are long and the handles are strong. Are you ready to get busy on the beach? Venice. Alright, let's get it. What's really cool, man, is just like even with the rucker and then this with the Venice Beach, like I had no clue of all the history behind all this stuff man even like the the pro-am stuff and the drew league like i just i was just ignorant to all that stuff so it's cool that nba lives schooling me on that stuff like of course we've all heard of venice beach you all we all heard of rucker park even if you just play video games right um and then and you know the days of and one mixtape tour and stuff but like just really really knowing the history is uh is really cool oh now here's the thing with this guy, I'm not getting to the hoop as well. I'ma need screens. Or cuts! Look at me cutting to the hoop! I gotta be crafty with my buckets. I gots to be crafty. Please believe I'm clamping too though. Oh, the defense still there. The defense still intact. Nope. No, sir. 
No, sir. Oh, I got to help D. And then I'm back to mine. Nope. I'm helping for the roll. And then I'm back out to mine. And I'm crashing the boards for the rebound. See, I'm out there. Ah, get it out. I didn't block it, but I'll take it. Ooh, I'm in transition. I'm dangerous in transition. Ooh, let me get this screen, big man. Let me get this screen, big man. Ooh, and then I'm rolling. And I'm diamond. You don't want to give me my assist? What's wrong? Thank you. What's wrong with you? Clamp diggity. Hell! Ooh, they call me clamp diggity in these streets. Oh, heck no. Nah. You and I both know that ain't wet. Oh, are you going to take some of my meter juice? Well, guess what? I'm going to attack. No, I'm not. I'm going to pass out. Give me the screen. What's wrong with you? Screen for me. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold up. Let's reset. Let's reset. Yeah, you set a proper screen. I can pull up on these ninjas. Oh, give me the re Ooh, good rebound. Good rebound. Oh, 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 I'm open. What? What? I do this. Got to lock you up. I got to lock you up. Oh, oh, and that's my rod. Give it to me. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Not a dang thing. Let me celebrate on you. I'm ready for my boss character. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Help! Help! D, you done lost your dang mind. Leak on flip. I ain't gonna get no rebounds? Oh, all right, you gonna get this ISO work. Oh, oh, gonna get this ISO work. Oh, the first step. It's not, oh, oh. I'm gonna feed my big man. And then I cut. Good pass, big. Dang. Let's go. Way to get that bucket, though. Way to get that bucket. Nah, I ain't even letting you get past half court. I ain't even gonna let you get past half court. I'm clam diggity. I'm go ooh. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Get it out! Oh, that was my block, man. They cheated me. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, that was his block. Uh, now, let me get the screen. My dribble moves ain't there yet. Ooh. Ooh, but I'm a dime you. What a dime, dog. I can do it all at point. I could shoot, I could drive, I could dish. Like, what you need, coach? I could clamp. I could clamp up. Look, where he going? He ain't going nowhere. Look at the help. Oh, cookies! Get it to me. I'm gonna pull up, because I'm a savage. Because I'm a savage. Fluff. Why am I guarding this tall dude? It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, let's go. Leak on fleek. Get it to me. Get it to me. Got to pull up on him. In transition. Wet. You gonna start putting some respect on my defensive capabilities. I got you with the help. Oh, you and I both know you broke. Let me get. Okay. Oh, you trying to embarrass me? I'm back at you then. You trying to embarrass me? I Like I said, I can do whatever I need to get done. Oh, go ahead and call a screen. Go ahead and call a screen. Because you clamped and you need help. You need help. Nope. 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 You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. The screen can't help you. Leak it to me. Leak it to me. There you go. Oh, get it back. From D. I paused it. Dang, it's the pause. The pause messed me up. How it paused? The controller wasn't even in my hands. Give me this rock back. I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. Ooh, watch this. Step back from deep. That was a disguised. Ooh, we work on that in practice. Of course, haters going to say it's not real because y'all wasn't at practice. Was you, was you at practice? I ain't think so. Come here. Nah. Nah. Yeah, pass it. You better pass out. You better pass out. Look there for the help, D. Nope. Give me that! You ain't never heard of help defense team? You help me, I help you. Well, since y'all don't believe in team ball, I'm pulling up. That's another disguised pass. Uh. Let's go. I didn't even realize we had Barnes and Blake on our team. No. How he played the game. Oh. Oh. 
I set him up with just play the game. Cause look, you can see in my eyes, that wasn't a real shot. That was a pass. It's all in the eyes. When you shoot and you look like this. And when you pass and it's like, I, w I was, that was a pass, dog. You could tell. I mean, look at that. 14 points, two assists. They missed a couple of my rebounds. It's all right, though. I'm not really tripping. Steals, and I got like half a block. I assisted on that one block. It was kind of sort of mine. It was kind of like it was both ours, but that was a solid game. All right, we are level four. Let's upgrade these skills. I'm looking at, so we got two of them. I'm trying to up this three-point shot, fam. And we get the Kyle Korver jump shot. We had the JJ Redick joint. I don't know if I equipped it. Yeah, it wasn't equipped. So that's that's the JJ and the Korver. Fam, am I tripping? Do y'all see the difference? There's a difference. It can't be that big, is it? Maybe Corver's a little higher, y'all think? Maybe I'm tripping. I ain't seen no big difference between that, fam. Ooh, plus 3% on three-point shooting. That's what we want right there. That's what we want. So we're going to we're gonna keep grinding in the lab. I don't think my character's good enough yet to take on my boss version in the game. Just not yet. Not yet. So we're going to keep doing that. Keep doing this. The one story, we're we just finished chapter two. Oh, we got some new crates too. So let's do this streets crate. Yeah, let's use this one. Oh, they got some, oh, they got some, they got a couple cool things in here. Let's see what we rocking with. Mmm, white teal tank. I'm gonna say what I got. If I got like one of those black long sleeve joints, I would have been, that long sleeve t-shirt would have been cool. But right now I'm cool. I'm cool with how my guy looks. I mean, it's the basic default joint, but I like black and so. We're good. We'll come back, maybe do some more openings. Cause we, we, we got some, we got some, we got a little shum shum to spin. Cool, so we're gonna wrap this episode up here and we'll probably be back with chapter three. We just gonna get my guy a little bit tougher, man. Once I feel like his skills is nice, then we gonna hit that live events and see what my boss player talking about. But I appreciate you guys, thank you for the support. Make sure you guys check it out. If you got any footage of it or screenshots or stats of you playing against my character in the game, let me see it, man. But I love you guys, thank you for the support, y'all are awesome. Till next time, God first, God bless.